Hey everybody, welcome back to Creativity and Inspiration. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having an amazing weekend. Today I have a great one for you. We are talking cute little mini envelopes, how you can make them, what you can do with them. Actually, they're very versatile. I'm also going to show you some other things I'm working on that you can only see if you follow me on Instagram. And I'll show you that before we get started with our video. So come on and let's start crafting. Okay guys, how are you doing? I put a clean piece of white paper down on my tray because I ate a Subway sandwich and it was oily. I don't even know. But anyway, nice clean piece of paper for the backdrop. This is the digital kit I'm making. I'm making it from scratch. Basically, I'm building all the mixed media, digital journal pages, ephemera. I'm gonna scan them in. Then I will put them on either my iPad and edit them, kind of smooth them up in Procreate or in Canva. So, normally I make my digital kits all by drawing on by hand on Procreate and switching them and you know making the kit that way but this time I'm doing it the old-fashioned way I'm making it all by hand using bits and pieces scanning it and I'll make it into a digital kit for you guys I'm going to use that paper that I got from Jerry's Artorama it's a the theme of the kit coming out tomorrow actually is plants house plants leaves that kind of thing so I thought it went. There's a lot of florals and stuff, leaves in this pack. So, you will probably see little snippets of process videos over on Instagram, and they'll probably get first look at the finished item before you get it in a video on YouTube. So, if you don't follow me on Instagram, head over there and follow so you don't miss out. Also on Instagram, I shared some prints that I might have made, and these are some postcards that I've drawn. I'm gonna paint later. Today, I'm doing an animal series of postcards. Those are drawn. These are some I painted, and I've scanned the two tigers in, and then these I will paint, hopefully today. I've got so much to do. And that will be one, two, three, four, five, seven postcards in a set that I'll be offering on my website. So if you like animals, stay tuned. Go follow me on Instagram again because that's where they're going to see those. And all that's down below. I also have a TikTok if anybody wants to follow me on TikTok. I do totally different stuff on TikTok than I do on Instagram or here. I don't know why. Just ends up all being different, which I guess is a good thing. I don't know. But today's video, it was inspired by this little guy. This teeny little white envelope. Isn't it cute? I found it in my stash of stuff and I thought, I'm inspired. I'm making stuff to go into my denim journal, which I'm sewing the cover and all of that will be up on TikTok. Like I said, everything's kind of different everywhere. But anyway, I thought this would be cute. I've got some ideas how to use them on a, in my denim journal. So today I thought we would talk about how you can make such cute little tiny envelopes different ways and what you can do with them. And I've pulled out, as you can see, just a bunch of stuff. This is a piece of painted paper that I have. This is different washi tape that was supposed to be a pocket. Bits of paper, bits of, you know, ephemera paper, bits of scrapbook paper, music paper. That's a tag got some tickets, different types of tickets. This is a vintage like little gift card. A little bit of book page and a little bit of map. And then I've got some flowers to decorate with. I have some wooden pieces I found that I thought would be fun to decorate with. And we'll probably pull out some more stuff, but this is what we're gonna start with. And I'm going to start with the easiest way to make a small envelope 
and at the same time you can make it into a note like a little fold out notepad if you want to as well and what you need is a longish longish piece of paper like this or this and I'm going to use this one but see how it's got the kinks in it I'm going to cut it off to where it's even so let me move this out of the way and I'm just going to flatten this out across both ends because they each have that little they had that little tail I need my glasses so one envelope you can make kind of smallish I mean it is smallish it's not normal size is you can take a piece of paper like this this is probably it's about five inches not quite about four and three quarters by about one and a half you can cover the back if you want because all you're going to do to make your envelope is fold it to whatever width you want. You can fold it skinnier than that or fatter. I'm going to fold it twice like that. And then I'm going to bring the top down. I'm going to trim it off a bit. Trim it off to halfway right there. And there I have a cute little envelope. There's my flap and there's the part. You could stick something in here if you wanted to stitch down your sides or you could leave it like this. Back it with plain white paper. Let me get some white paper. Oops. Yes, I make a mess when I grab stuff, but that's okay. I'm not gonna put I'm going to use it to cut a piece of white paper to back it. And then I'm going to... I didn't cover the flap. You could cover the flap too. I did not do that. And then I'm going to trim it on the fold because just so happens that fold was in the right place. So I'm going to attach this to the white paper real quick. Oh, let me, let me cut it at the fold. So all I'm doing is backing that piece of paper with white paper so it can be a little notepad. I'm going to tape it down real quick. I'm just using the double-sided tape that I use mostly for demonstrations, but I also use it when I'm creating just because it's fast. Only thing is if you're going to sew anything on your journals, don't use this tape because it gums up your sewing machine. And how do I know that? Do we really have to ask that? How's everyone doing? Are y'all, are you guys, are you guys getting terrible storms? Okay, so I'm just going to unpeel all my tape real quick. Fold over any edges that are a little bit too long. Okay, I'm going to cover the body, not the flap, not the flap of the envelope. So there's our notepad part. I'm going to refold it on the, oh, well, you know what? I did that backwards, but that's okay. We're not going to sweat it. I covered the flap and not the bottom part. Okay. So now when we unfold our envelope, we have a little journaling space there, which is fine. And then to make a closure, I'm going to use a little bit of this tape on the back of my button. 
And yes, this tape will hold buttons in place. This tape is very powerful. That's why you don't want to sew through it. Because it will muck up your needle and you have to change your needle. Which is, I mean, if I thought about it, it makes sense. Okay, so I've got that off. Let me put it right there. And now I have a little tuck spot for my flap. And there you go, you have a cute little notepad envelope that you can write on. But it also folds up, looks super cute. And you could decorate anything you wanted to. You could decorate a pocket, you could decorate something like that. And there you go. So there's one way to make a little envelope. Now I think we're going to use this pretty piece of paper. And another way is to make just like a little traditional envelope. But you're using scrapbook paper. I'm going to fold it so I'll know where the fold is. Then I'm going to come in with my scissors. And I'm just going to make the flap. I'm going to fold it to see. Okay, then I'm going to take a corner rounder and round the corners. Okay, just like that. Then you can glue your sides down. You can tape them whatever you want. And I'm going to use my tape. But I'm going to put it just on the very edge because I, I want some room if I want to stick a tiny piece of paper in there. So I'm just putting it half on, half off the paper. And then when I peel the... Okay, let's do that again. And then when I peel that off, I'm going to fold it over so the tape is all on right there. And I'm going to do it to the other side. Same thing, I'm putting it on half the envelope. Because I might want to stick a tiny little letter in there. Who knows? Okay, and then I'm going to fold the tape hanging off that's stuck to my finger. I'm just going to get my finger off, fold it over, and there we go. Now the tape is there, so I'm going to fold the bottom part up, and I have a really mini little envelope there. Cute. Okay, well, that's cute, easy to do, but what can you do with it? So here is my home renovation journal. And what if I want to use it to mark a page? I would just simply come in and attach it right there. And this one, I don't feel like I need to decorate because it's got the, you know, the bling on it, the sparkles. I think it's kind of cute just like that. I would attach it right there with some tape glue and it would be a tab. Let me make sure that's where I want a tab. Let's put the tab at the front because I'm gonna break everything down. So let's put it on this first page. I'm gonna put it right there across the back. That's my tape. And then I'm gonna come in and put it kind of crooked. And there you go. There is a cute little tab. It pokes out, I can see it. I'll be able to reach right for there. And then I could put several different ones throughout my journal. So little envelopes make super cute tabs. They make super cute little decorations and notepads. Now you can also make teeny tiny little envelopes with little tickets. So I'm gonna use these little blue tickets, and we're gonna make two or three little envelopes. Well, let's make four. Okay, and I'm just going to 
fold them. I want a little bigger fold than that. I'm gonna make a bigger fold like that. Just folded it about three quarters of the way. And then I'm gonna fold the little flappy over just like that. And it's so cute. It's such a cute little envelope, okay? But this time, I'm gonna tape the whole bottom part down. I'm not gonna have it open for a letter or open up as a notebook. I'm just gonna tape it down. And there we go. I just taped it down like that. And there's one little envelope. I'm gonna kind of reverse this one, but do the same thing, except I think maybe I will round the corners just to give it a little bit different look. Whoops. I think I need to sharpen my corner rounder there. Okay, so it kind of gave it an oval top for this one, which is fine. And it looks a little different there. So I'm gonna make the other two just like those two really quickly. Now, these are really tiny. You could even tape the little flap down if you wanted, totally up to you. But what I thought these would look cute as is a page border because they're so tiny, right? We could just glue them down. You could tape the little flap down. I kind of like the little flap sticking up. But you know what? I didn't tape the blue ones down, the curved ones down. And that is just an adorable little kind of page border or you can layer them. on a piece of paper. My paper was a little short, but you'll get the. And you could do some like that, like that. So let's put the page border down on my page. Okay. Then I can tuck it kind of under and make a page border like that. Or I could just put them on top of it and I'm gonna tape the little flap down too. You could also do envelopes, little envelopes with different colored papers. And I'll show you how to do that. So that one, I taped the little flap down. I think I'm gonna tape the flap down on them all now. because these are more decoration little envelopes. You can kind of do them back and forth and make a page border, which I think is adorable and not something you see. See, I get tired of the same old things, right? So I always try to think of, oops, kind of different, maybe, I don't know, they may be kind of weird to y'all, but different uses for things that, as a journaler, I've seen multiple times. Okay, go back that way and that way. And there I have a cute little border. And there you go. It's something different to use little envelopes. The last way you can make and use a little envelope is to decorate it for a tag or a journaling card or something like that. So let's say we're gonna use this as a journaling card since that's kind of what it is. So I'm gonna get some 
base papers here and then maybe use this maybe not oh maybe use this instead hmm. let me use the paint So we're going to decorate our journaling card, only we're going to flip it over and decorate this side. With little envelopes. I'm going to take this pink piece of paper and I'm going to cut it. Well, let's do it this way. We're going to make a bigger mini envelope. I'm going to hold it up just like that. And then that's my envelope right there. That's good because we can actually use that as a second pocket. So a mini envelope can, I've shown you three different sizes. I've shown you a teeny tiny, I'm sorry. I've shown you a teeny tiny, a mini, and then this one's a big mini. But it's the same process. Just take a paper, fold it up, and that's gonna be our envelope, but let's decorate it. And you can decorate on the envelope itself. Let's use just the music paper. Okay, you can decorate on the envelope itself like that. And then put a button or a flower right there. And that can be where you tuck your, oops, where you tuck your flap into. So it can look like that or you can decorate underneath it and your envelope can be the, the bling. So I don't know which way. Maybe we'll do two different ones. Guys, it's supposed to storm again. It's getting humid in my house. And you could do it like that as well with that behind it and then put the paper on here. I like it better the other way. Okay. Let me layer up my flowers. I'm gonna layer my flower just to give it more bulk and more interest. And I'm looking for a jewel to put in my flower. So I'll be right back. found some stick on jewels. I think we're going to do the pearl. This looks like a pearl kind of day. So let me get a piece of my tape and we're going to put the pearl in the pink inside this flower. Oh my gosh, those are hard to handle guys. So if you can't see it, sorry, it's kind of rolling away from me literally. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Oh yeah, that's, that's the look. Let's put these flowers together. And yes, this tape works on fabric. It works on a lot of stuff. Okay, we're going to layer this down. There we go. Now, 
We're gonna take our envelope and we're gonna do our sides the same way we did the this envelope. We're gonna put the tape on the side, but kind of hang it off so when we close it, we can fold it over. And then I'm going to fold it back over. And then I'm gonna do the same side, the other side. Folding it over, but I'm also going to fold it down. It was a little too tall. I'm just folding it over and then pushing it down. Now I have an envelope that I can actually stick something in. So we'll do that in a minute. Okay, then we're going to get. our book page and our little music page. I'm going to tear that. And I'm going to put that down for now. And then we're going to put our flower on there like that. And I think we're going to leave it like that. I like that. Okay? So you can do these several different ways and make it however you see them. I want the book page to see some light here. So let's glue these down. You can make your flap close. You can leave your flap open. You can make it a teeny tiny mini. You can make it a bigger mini. Whatever, I say let the project that you're doing dictate what size you create with, you know? But these are super easy. People think envelopes have to be cut 20 different ways. You can make a simple envelope and it looks cute, it looks good, and it's functional, which I'm gonna show you in two seconds. Let me get the flower down. And again, this tape works on fabric. It works on paper. Okay, there's our envelope all decorated. Let's get a little tag somewhere. I have some little bitty tags. Let me grab one. All right, this one had tore at the top, but that's okay. And you can put the little tag in there and then we're going to attach it to our journaling card. There we go. And I don't know if you noticed, but the way I did that, the way I taped my envelope to my journaling card, I could also use it as a pocket behind there. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button with that little bell. We have a lot of amazing videos coming your way. We are currently holding a poll on our community page. Check it out because I wanna know what you guys wanna see. I look forward to all your uh, suggestions. I'll see you next time. Bye.